Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their words are performed to be seen. They widen their para they widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in the synagogues, gratings in marketplaces, and the salutation rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. They preach, but they do not practice. This is the third teaching in today's gospel. The Lord said to us, hear their teachings, because they teach the law of Moses. They teach the word of God. But don't follow their example, because what is the principal problem in the Pharisees and the scribes? Pride. They are not humble. And for the reason at the end of the gospel, the Lord says, whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. We need humility. The Pharisees and the scribes, they teach good, the law of Moses, the word of God, but they don't put into practice. They just announce to the people all about the law of Moses, but they not good example for their people. Today we have other problems. Not just they don't give us a good example. Many of them don't teach good teachings. And that is a real problem. problem. Unfortunately, many pastors in our church don't teach the truth of the gospel, the truth about the word of God. And the Lord said, be careful. Because in that case, it's not just don't listen to them, don't follow them, both. When we accept back teaching, that teaching destroy our relationship with God. Because many times I think this is good, but it's not good, it's bad. For that reason, it's very sad, the confusion that we live uh, currently in our church. Because many people hear one day that pastor said that abortion is good, and I think it's good, because that pastor said that. And that confusion destroy your conscience and your relationship with God. Today, we need to be more faithful to Jesus, to his word. And pray to him, Lord, give me your wisdom in order to understand what is good, what is bad. In order to distinguish the good teachings and the bad teachings. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Pius X. He's a good example and a good preacher. And he teaches to us the way of humility. And he teaches to us the love to the blessed sacraments. 
he instituted the first holy co the first communion for children from 10 years before him the first communion don't exist at these ages that is we need remain faithful to Jesus and follow the good example that we have the saints we have many good examples and be careful when you hear the words that you want to hear and you say ah that is good that is the preaching that we need in this moment I need to hear that this bad behavior is not sin and I am agree with that be careful follow the good teachers the good example and be careful with the bad teachings especially in this moment because we have many confusion in our church let us pray to the Lord that purify our faith and give us wisdom in order to follow him in order to discover where are the good teachers, the good example for us. Let us pray in silence.